The novel coronavirus has recently developed a number of worrisome mutations, resulting in multiple new variants popping up around the world. A new study sheds light on how the virus mutates so easily and why these mutations help it escape the body's immune system. The beauty of this story is it's quite complex, but it's really rather simple. The study researchers found that SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, often mutates by simply deleting small pieces of its genetic code. Although the virus has its own proofreading mechanism that fixes errors as it replicates, the deletions get around this. So what deletions do is not only alter one site, but they can alter a string of sequential letters in a row. And so you can't proofread against that, and you can alter a number of amino acids that build up that protein. And so it, it does represent a way that the virus can quickly adapt. Oh, it's devilishly clever. For their study, the researchers used a database to analyze nearly 150,000 genetic sequences of SARS-CoV-2. They found that these deletions frequently show up in similar spots on the genome. And these deletions started to line up to very distinct sites, and so that's why we've called them recurrent deletion regions, because we kept seeing them over and over and over again, from viruses from different places, at different times, uh, in genetically distinct viruses. Possibly these deletions were leading to the, the escape or the evolution away from antibodies that are binding it. This would be a way to, to get around that, because the antibodies won't be able to recognize. Yeah, because remember, the key thing in biology is shape and precise little changes in shape, even in a big molecule, can have really, really big effects, right? So perfectly attuned to recognize shape, small movement, and this thing doesn't see this anymore. I mean, one, one missing building block out of about 1,200 can knock out the binding of, of antibodies that are potently neutralizing. So you're looking at, you know, less than a 1% you know, change there. Small changes in biology can have massive effects. And that's why we have to think about antibiotic resistance and antiviral drug resistance. And da -da 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 -da. that's where it's really hard whenever you're trying to describe this because it's hard to show something which is gone, right? Absence is hard to, to show. But these tiny little absences have a big, big effect. Does it seem like the, that the main goal from the evolution perspective is to sort of escape the immune system and this transmissibility might be like a secondary factor or we don't, like a beneficial side effect, but we don't really... The virus has evolved to replicate efficiently and it'll evolve around anything that gets in its way or go extinct. Evolution finds these sweet spots and this is a pretty good virus, right? What it's doing is every single time it's replicating, think of the millions of people that virus is replicating in the world each day, right? Because anything that we can do to dampen the number of times it replicates, just like Kevin said, will buy us a little bit of time. Coming up with the tools now that we know that they're important and that they can alter the immunogenicity of the molecule, the way that some antibodies bind it and, and understand if there's clinical changes that are associated with that. And, and that's in some ways what happened with the discovery of the variants from, from South Africa and from the United Kingdom, both of which have deletions. Will we see something happen like we do with uh, flu vaccines, that these need to be reformulated um, frequently? You know, it's not going to be an all or nothing where, where one day, you know, the virus can be blocked by a vaccine and the next day it's gone. It's, it's a continuum. But you still have something that's 90 or 85 percent efficacious, which I think at the start of this pandemic we'd all sign up for. It's not just going to be this virus. It'll be the next virus and the next virus and the next virus and the next virus. They will continue to emerge. They will continue to evolve. And we will continually have to play cat and mouse and stay one step ahead of them. Their results underscore the importance of closely monitoring the virus's evolution by tracking these deletions and other mutations. The findings also show why it's important to wear a mask and implement other measures to prevent the virus from spreading. The more people it infects, the more chances it has to replicate and potentially mutate.